do you see him like he, he came off the bench first couple of years. Mm -hmm. Now he's starting and he's finding success as a starter. Clearly that helps you when you when you start to negotiate. But <laughs> did you see him coming into the league as a starter? Did you ever think that he had the, the ability and the uh, the pedigree to be a starter? So I never put a ceiling on Jalen. You know, he was a great player in high school. He was a, one of the greatest ever, uh, college players ever. Mm -hmm. So I knew he had a skill. I knew he could play. I knew to come into this league, he had to work his way up. So I told him, like, yo, you, you're, you're going to be a starter. Yeah. But you're going to be a when backup first. first. One of the what, second round pick, right? Yeah, should have been the first round. <laughs> right. You know, they look at what you can't do instead right. of what you can't do. But hey, you can't never measure man's will. But back to um, him is, uh, yeah, his first year, I, I told him, like, all right, you gotta be prepared. Your third guard, you have Luca, you got uh, Dennis Smith Jr., and then it's you. And you, you, you gotta stay the course, you gotta work, you gotta come every day, you gotta learn. And I just felt like, you know, the more Jalen's here, the longer he's here, the better Jalen gets. Look at his career it's high school, college, and now it's in his fourth year. And so I'm not surprised. I, I, I thought he should have been starting last year, personally, but that's just, I guess, me being biased. But So I get the impression that he wants to be here. Jalen is a maverick after this season if what happens? <laughs> Jalen's a maverick at the end of this season if we all sit down as a family and try to make the right decision for Jalen. And at, at the end of the day, it, we all give our opinion, and, but Jalen makes the final decision. And uh, I know he loves it here. I know he enjoys it here. But if he decides to stay here, we're going to be happy. I, I don't see him, you know, looking to go anywhere, but you, you don't never know. It's a business. It's a business. How much has Jason <laughs> helped uh, Jalen being, uh, being the head coach here? <clears throat> Hall of Fame point guard, in all due respect to the past coaches that he's played under? Doesn't matter who you play for. I always find out who that coach is, and I try to, I'm a coach myself. I'm a high school coach. Obviously, I coach at every level, but I don't try to say, all right, you got to play this way and forget about what coach is talking about. Mm -hmm. What does Carlisle want from Jalen Brunson? In order to play for Rick Carlisle, you had to be a scorer. Mm -hmm. So in order well, to have that mentality. mentality of being an attack mode scorer, Jalen coming from Villanova, you know, was more of a, a point guard. Mm -hmm. So it actually helped him become who he is today where he learned how to score at a high rate for Carlisle. And if he wasn't scoring, he wouldn't play or wouldn't play as much. You know, that's the way Carlisle ran his offense. When you bring in Jason Kidd, who values what Jalen brings to the floor, it's not saying that Carlisle doesn't value that or, or lessen, mm -hmm. but it. Jason Kidd is a point guard. Mm -hmm. He values, you know, the little things. All the things. All the fame point guard. And he values the little things that Jalen does, the things that you can't teach or things that you can't see on a stat sheet. And that took Jalen to, I mean, his jump has been tremendous. And the credit goes, to, obviously, to Jason Kidd, you know, just allowing him to be free, play through his mistakes. Mm -hmm. And um, Jason Kidd has been, I mean, tremendous to his career. And, right. you know, we couldn't thank him enough. But at the end of the day, me, Carlisle, or Jason Kidd, nothing, none of this is possible without a guy being willing to do it. And all the credit goes to Jalen.